And now more families than ever before are finding themselves without a home this year. It's becoming a crisis situation at In From The Cold, meaning their upcoming fundraiser is an important date on the calendar. It's the Dreaming Big Gala supporting the Early Childhood Development Program at In For The Cold. And it's an important aspect of breaking the cycle in homelessness. So here to tell us more about it is Janine Webb from In From The Cold and Chad Ludenberg, who is the Dreaming Big Gala Chair. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Morning. That's quite the title. You? you should put that on a business card. I know. <laughs> That's great. Uh, this is a, a big time of year for you and that the fundraiser is just around the corner. But talk a little bit about uh, the effects that you've seen at In From The Cold this time of year, particularly with the economic downturn. Yeah, we actually, since 2011, have been seeing, seeing a sharp increase in the number of homeless families seeking our services and walking through our doors. Last year, we reached some unfortunate critical um, pressure points, um, having served uh, the most of homeless families, children, and their parents that we have in our 18-year history. Wow. Um, we had about 2,300 come through our door, over 1,200 children. What's important about that is that a good 50% of the children that we see at our shelter um, are under the age of six. Wow. So a lot of babies, a lot of toddlers, and at critical development stage, we're seeing um, rapid growth both physically and cognitively at that age. Any parents trying to um, you know, give their children everything they need to help them with their school readiness. And you add on transiency, mental health issues, malnourishment, undernourishment, toxic chronic stress, and moving from one place to another every single night. And you have a whole host of issues going on in those little, little ones. And so what we're trying to do at the shelter level is actually take advantage of that critical window that we have um, with them and start to work on some of those things mm -hmm. and introduce them to some of our incredible neighbors in the community and then carry them forward so that when we do find them a house that we can wrap tight around them and hopefully and see them uh, succeed instead of repeat a pattern of abject poverty and homelessness. Absolutely, that number is astonishing, 1,200 children and uh, incredible. And so in that, the gala is such an important fundraiser for you. Tell us a little bit about what the gala is all about. I've been to it and it's, it's lots of fun and you guys do great work, but for those who aren't familiar. Oh yeah, for sure, so it's this. It's this great cal gala for kids, and there's candy and dancing and magicians and, and just kids having a blast everywhere. And, and, it's, all about, and it's all about a great thing, in from the cold. And, and not, just housing, not just housing families and families without a home, but, but as Janine said, building the foundations for the future and a future of hope for these kids so we can break the cycle of, of homelessness. Yeah, and it's quite the feat that, that you have. What kind of change do you see in these families and particularly in the children? Well, even right now as we're launching our school readiness program, what you see is um, children before uh, they have had the support that we can give them at the shelter level, um, they are terrified, they are wondering, they haven't had normalcy in such a long time, if ever. Mm -hmm. And so just by giving them the tools that they need, and most importantly the parents, the tools that they need to be able to understand the stresses that they're going to face, knowing that they're coming back to a homeless shelter every day and they don't want the kids in class to know that, and they have a whole lot going on in their brains as they're sitting at their desks, something significant like that um, is going to just be a game changer this school year as they head back to school. Well, it was yesterday, I mm -hmm. suppose. Yeah, we're going to see some smiling faces and some, some pretty anxious kids will start to calm and enjoy going to school every day. Yeah, you think about those things that we take for granted and the stress that the everyday family faces uh, heading back to school is even amplified in the situation with the families that you deal with. Uh, great cause, the gala is sold out, so that is good news, but how can people help? If, uh, if they're looking to? There are lots of ways to help. We're coming on to our busiest season. We're reaching, uh, all again, uh, we're in over, over capacity right now, seeing intense numbers. And so um, it, log on to our website at www.infromthecold.org. And there's many ways to get involved from volunteering, serving dinner. We have uh, a huge need for excess volunteers with the number of families that we're seeing. We need a lot of help right now. Okay, we'll put those links up on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much Thanks. and congratulations on your sold out event. I hope it goes well and supporting a great cause in from the cold. And on over to Andrew Schultz. It is uh, cooling temperatures, especially near the end of the weekend.